I want a freaking tread tire. <laughs> Before we start today's video, I do want to point out that we still have a giveaway going on. I'll add the video up in the screen somewhere here. You can win all these Pint or XR goodies. How do you enter? Just make a YouTube short about one wheeling and post the video link in the comments of the video that I just pointed out. Also check out the terms and conditions to make sure that your entry is valid. So let's get things going and pump out those videos. Let's get into the mud. So today I'm riding out with my one wheel XR who has the stock Vega tire on there and I wanted to test how it holds up in the mud. I found this little trail where they go uh, cross country cycling and I really wanted to see how this XR and the slick Vega tire will hold up. So I went out to this little piece, it has a lot of leaves and in some spots it has a lot of mud hidden underneath the leaves so at first i'm a little bit chill and testing out the terrain it's new terrain don't know it yet so always be careful as you can see on the dry parts the vega has a good grip it has good stability because of the flat surface and that comes in handy when you start to one wheel but the moment that things get soaky and muddy you can really feel that wheel slipping underneath you if you put some force on the edges. I really like to ride this tire in dry conditions but once it gets too muddy <laughs> you have this. <laughs> Not getting in there. Down there I really noticed that there was a lot of mud and going uphill in the mud is something that is yeah, just not possible with the slick tire. So I went out and about onto the next part and as you can see once you hit the muddy parts it's really hard to hold that edge or even to start one wheeling from a standstill. Really a challenge to get things going but once you get a dry spot dry enough you can get going on the fly. Definitely need some treads. And we definitely need some treads. Recently I tested a one wheel with the Hoosier treaded T2 tire, which was really awesome. You could really notice the difference once you started to go uphill in the mud and in very mushy conditions, that tire really had some grip. That's a big difference if you compare it to what you see here. Here the tire sometimes snaps out of position just because you run into a puddle of mud. And I should have gotten a little more speed to get up this hill. Couldn't get the nose up there. And as you can see going backward on a wet surface kind of gets you in trouble when you want to go off on a fly. I'll have it for a second time here. Just because of the wet and slippery leaves and grass, it's very hard to get that traction to go. But once you have a speed, you can practically get through anything or up anything. You just need to know how to handle this machine properly. It takes some time to get used to it, but once you get a hang of it, you can easily ride up hills. You just have to take some speed and once you hit the bump, just push up that nose and make sure that you still have enough speed to have some fun. The second run, this is a different path that goes the other side. It's actually a nice piece of track that I found not too far from my home, which is cool. I can come and tread here every day. I love to play around with all these lumps and bumps and see how the one wheel reacts on them. Underneath those leaves we have tricky situations. Always watch out for that. Because you never know what's gonna come and uncontrolled slipping is not the nicest thing to have. Even here I was just going straight and I got into a nosedive because the wheel started slipping. The machine didn't know how to control that situation and put the nose down. Luckily it's all nice and soft out here so even if you take a slam you just hit the mud. You get dirty but you're never in a lot of pain. That's why I like to ride these kind of trails. You can really play around in them without really hurting yourself. As long as you know your limits and respect your limits. 
The most important thing on the one wheel is to be safe, have fun and always respect your surroundings and the people you ride with. Especially if you're on mountain bike trails, they are made for mountain bikes, so also respect them.